Okay, so the first big concept that we want to focus on is going to be routing. So what is routing? Well, let's take a domain example. Let's go to, let's just do example.com, okay? And then uh, let's do, let's say that it's a blog and we want to see all the posts. So we do something like slash posts. Um, this is an example of a route. So routes are, are really just URLs um, after the main domain, and even this is a route, but routes are actually just kind of um, patterns in the URLs, and they are destinations that take us places. So for instance, this is, let me see all of the um, posts that we have in the system, right? And then there might be something like, hello world. And this is a different route. So this is a route that shows us a single blog post. But the main thing I want to drive home here is what routes are. And routes are URLs, basically. They are, um, they are links to a certain view or action or page or um, they could be a myriad of things. But I wanted to show you that routes are um, basically uh, how we enter into the application. They're what the browser uses, what other APIs use to consume it. Um, but this is a route. It's everything that happens after our root domain. And even it's the root domain, the slash here too. So um, that's what a route is. And it'll make more sense once we get into some code here. So let's hop in. And so where do routes live in a Laravel application? So if you head over to this folder here, um, it says routes because oddly enough, that's where the routes live. Um, the routes we're going to be focusing on here are web. This file is everything that happens in the browser. So you see that there's actually something declared here. And let's take a look at this. So it says that um, when I do a get request to this slash, which is just the home, there's no parameters after this, then uh, we are going to let this closer function in here handle what's ha what happens. So this is sort of how we want to handle that route. So this is returning a view, but let's say that we just want to return some text. So return yo. So now we can go back here and look at that. We are seeing yo. So this is what routing is at its core. What it is is you tell Laravel what route, uh, what you want to do with what route. So let's make another route here. But instead of calling this yo, let's just say greet, okay? And then uh, you can do nice to meet you, okay? And now when we go slash greet, it says nice to meet you. So again, routing is telling Laravel what we wanna do when we hit a certain route. And um, there's a lot of ways to handle it, but just for now, we're gonna use these closures uh, to show you how that works. And a closure is just um, passing a function as a parameter. So this route actually can take a couple different parameters. The second parameter here, we're passing in a function, um, which we refer to as a closure. And uh, this is handling the logic of, hey, when you get this URL, what do you wanna do? Well, we wanna return nice to meet you, okay? So there's a couple things you can do. Um, you can also pass in parameters. So let's just say we have um, something here and we want to call this name and we want to be able to do this right we want to say greet Chris that's me okay so let's try that and then we need to pass name in like we don't know what they're gonna pass in right so we need to be able to access that information the way we do that is inside of our closure here we pass in name as a parameter for this closure and then we can write, um, hey, name, how's it going? Okay, so now we can go back and hit this route. Hey, Chris, how's it going? There we go. So next, let's take a look at things like optional parameters. So let's say that we don't want to send in the name some of the times um, this could be optional. So the way that we show a route parameter being optional is you can put a question mark here. Next, we need to know how to handle that. So if it's not there, then the default name, um, we could just put whatever we want. So let's put my name there. 
and um, if it gets passed in, uh, it'll show the name. If not, it'll just default to my name. So let's go back here and do greet and say, hey, Chris, how's it going? Uh, my dog's name is Mando. So let's greet Mando. He's a good boy. Hey, Mando, how's it going? So that is how we do optional parameters. Um, we just put a question mark here, and that just shows that this could be optional. Um, it may or may not exist in the route. Um, so that's it. The next step we're going to do is we're going to be pointing this to a controller and handling the logic um, the way we would in a real production scenario. So stick around.